So in the last video, we were able to get the user or fetch the user based on the sorry get or fetch the song based on the ID of the song. But now we're going to create a song. We're going to create a record, sorry, into the song database. And now we have the create method here. It's a class method. It's expecting a user ID and other parameters to create or insert that uh, record. And if you come here, you can see that as the next one here, it says create song record here. So it's expecting the user ID to be given. That means we are creating for this user and the name and uh, in this case the genre is what we are actually going to create for the song. And if we look at the that the database table here for songs, we can see that the ID is created automatically. The user ID is what we are specifying. The name is what we are specifying. The genre is what we are specifying. Created art is going to be set for us based on our um, Python code and the updated art the same way. So let's go back to songs and we can see that here. So as usual, we'll make our connection and then we will now set the created art variable which is the same thing, date time, date time now, as a string, and we're slicing the first 10 um, um, values because that's what will give us the year, the month, and the day. Then we are going to set all that we get from the um, here, as user ID, name, and genre. We're going to set that in the set sum method class method which would feed here and it's going to feed this this the class um, attributes so where is that uh, create yes so once we're done with that then we'll now create this context manager for the cursor connection so con connect con dot cursor will create the cursor and then we need to create the query so it says insert into song stable these. So we're going to insert the user ID, we need to insert name, genre, created art, updated art from here now. And these are the values now we're going to set. And one, two, three, four, five positions. So the first one is for user ID, second name, and, and so on and so forth. So that's what we did here in the value. So we put the user ID to this, this place here, the username we are getting from the class itself, the genre, we're making them lowercase, and the created art, updated art is also from what we set here. Then we're going to execute that and we'll run the commit and we'll print out record created successfully and return true. If there are errors, it will display that and close the connection. So let's run that and see that that is working. But let me also show you the tests we wrote for this create method here. So this is the test for the songs, for the song. So you can see test for create method is just the same thing. Test for creating record the song table. Um, user ID is taking the user ID name of the song and the genre and feeding that to the method. And that's going to be the results variable. And now we're comparing that with making sure that it returns a Boolean value, which is true. It returns true, which is true, and it also returns a value, which is true. So this is going to pass in this case. So if we come back here, we can see that um, we've written the script so we're going to try this now. In user ID, we're creating a song for the user ID to the name and genre. Name is driving, genre is pop. So let's run this. Now we can see record created successfully. So if we come back here 
and now we as usual we're going to refresh the server or the database and we come to songs and now view and now we can see record id 9 user id for user id 2 we specified the name is driving which is specified generate is pop which is specified and is taking uh, today's date for created and updated that so that's how to um, create or insert values into the song um, table using uh, Python and uh, PCYCLE PG2 in the Postgres uh, database.